Hi folks, um, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing well. Um, in this video, the line is bad. Um, one sec, there we go. Um, in this video, um, I thought I'd do a cage tour because I've not done one for a while. So um, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a cage tour video for this week. Um, and then uh, just to show you what's sort of changed and what's sort of new. Um, there's not much new that's changed in this cage. Um, it's just sort of um, little bits and bobs that I've added like over time. Um, but his cage currently is um, perfect for him. It's like he's got everything that he needs in there, and he, he likes it as well. Um, so I can't go, can't go wrong really. So um, yeah, let's get on with the cage tour. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me, and let me know what you thought of it down in the comments as well. Um, I just want to say firstly before I get onto the cage tour is thank you for the support on my videos, um, especially my Primark Hall one and um, my High Power one. Um, they're all in double figures now and the watch time's up on um, every one of those videos. Um, I feel like I'm getting more and more into uploading now and stuff and obviously editing the video and, and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get on with the cage tour. Okay, so this is obviously his, his cage at the moment. Um, which you may have, may have all seen um, in past videos but this is his cage at the moment um, I don't want to be too loud because he is still sleeping at the moment um, and then underneath he's just got all of his food and stuff um, that spray which smells amazing excuse the mess, I've still got to um, sort of hoover it all up but his cages were dangling off the edge of it so I did push them back I did push them back a bit against the wall and I got a different colour um, throw to go over the top of it and then obviously the lights at the back shine through the um, they shine through the thing you know the, the throw and it lights up against the wall which looks amazing at night time I'll try and get a picture of it um, at night time for you but I'm going to try and do this all in one take so I don't have to keep stopping the video so we'll start with this cage, um, this one it was his original cage that he went, he, um, that he, well, I brought, I, I, that he was first in, sorry, um, when I brought him home, <coughs> so, start off over here, um, this is a Trixie ledge, um, which is in, um, I got from Amazon, I got two of these from Amazon, something like £15 each, I think, or £10 each. It's just a nice little addition to go into his cage. Now there was a different wooden ledge here, but I decided to pop this one around it. So it is, it is like a corner ledge. It's nice and wooden as well. And then I've obviously put some um, paper bedding on that as well, just so it's nice and soft for him. Moving on, um, this is his treats bowl, um, which is still pretty full at the moment. And he does like to have little treats nibbled out of this. So, um, yeah, this is his treat spell, um, which he goes in often, and then if you're wondering what to, this tube goes through, runs all the way along the back of the two cages, and then down into that one, which I'll show you in a second. Moving on, um, this hammock, um, I've got to be quiet because he's still sleeping, but this hammock is from a, a girl from Facebook, um, I'll link her in, link in the description below. Nice and cosy for him, sometimes I'll just take it out to clean it. I don't machine wash, I just pick it up, just put sort of like a bucket with a um, clothes brush because it is um, like furry. Um, I did get this ordered, I did get this specific colour made which matches his cage colour. The male looks a bit purpley but it is actually grey in person. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I'll do that hands on top of the like so. Um, moving down, this is his food bowl, um, which I've had for a while now, for, for like, I don't know, like a year and a half or so, because I, got, I bought it last year. It's a Trixie bowl, it's nice and uh, big for him as well. In the corner there, he has his coconut hide, um, which he loves to sleep in. Sorry about the focus, camera's not focusing very well, but 
That is his coconut hide there, and then I have also got one of these things from Pets at Home dangling down. This is from Pets at Home, by the way, if you're wondering, and then obviously the coconut hide is from Pets at Home as well. Um, moving around now, this is a bendy bridge, which originally I had going down into the wood, onto the wood shavings, but I decided to just pop, um, pop it as a little hideout thing, something that, can, something that I can go under. Sometimes it goes under it and then sometimes it climbs onto the bars and, and, and stands on top of there. Just to, especially last night when it came to see me as well. Uh, moving over, this is a uh, sweet corn thing. He does like to nibble on this. Time to time, I don't know if you can see this rectangle in there that he did rip off. Um, and then obviously, if you're wondering what the acorn, the acorn thing is there, that's from Pets at Home, just sort of dangles across. He's got his water bottle there. Um, and then obviously underneath is where we're sleeping at the moment. I think it's the other end of this tube there. I don't know if you can see that properly. But I've got a little play ball there for him. And then this tube that he goes through and into the wood chairs. But it is really deep in there for him. I've, I've made this cage really, really deep so that he can borrow and stuff. And then if you're wondering what this blue tube is. this I, I attached this uh, a couple of weeks ago just to make it a bit more fun for him. And then you can go out come out of this way or go out of that way and he does that from time to time um yeah and that's uh, that cage and then um moving across as you can see there's a tube in the middle and then that big long one that at the back runs along the entirety of the two cages with the tube strip lights on as well moving on um this strub had of some pets at home, which is a sand bath, as you can see there. He does go in there to roll around in it <coughs> um, often. And then um, I've got his, um, this platform filled with uh, some, I've sprinkled some forage mix in there, and then there's some wood shavings there as well. Um, then he's got, got a little chew wooden thing there. This is from pets at home. It was for Christmas, but I just said to leave it up because it looks good. Um, and then moving on we have a two bendy bridges, one going down, which I'll show you in a second, and then one going up leading up to this platform here. Um, another corner ledge with paper paper bedding on it as well. And then this this one here was originally over there attached to that cage. But I just decided to pop it um, here under the side of the cage. Um, I, he, he, I did have a treat spell, uh, this treat spell, in fact, um, on there, um, but I did take it off because he was struggling to get, get, into, it, uh, get into it, bless him, so I did take it off. So that's the court, the uh, another ledge, but he, he does go in there and walk around in it, and then when the lights on it does look really good. Moving down, this bridge here going down, and then obviously he's got his little these trees bow there, this hamster is so spoiled. Um, and then a bigger wheel from his original green wheel, which was way too small for him. He, I have, I have heard him go in this a few times and he does go in it. Um, it looks really nice with the light shining through it as well. Um, I've got a clip of that and that's in for you. And then it's, it is a bigger wheel for him. And then I'll say this is the tube going down. And then underneath the wooden uh, ramp that is a grass hay tube, pretty long one from Pets at Home again. Um, I like the stuff from Pets at Home because it, it, it lasts forever and you know it's it's good quality, so I'll always shop there and support them. Um, but yeah, it's pretty deep and I just sprinkled some forage mix and some paper bedding in there as well, and then obviously that's his bowl bowl there. Um, and there's also got these little leaf things, one there and then another one there in the corner. Um, and then, excuse my guitar by the way, and it's been sat there and I've not played it for like months. Um, but yeah, these are the strip lights all hooked up. This tube, this wire is, is all on top of the tube and then obviously that's the tube that feeds, feeds it going down there. Um, these are from B&M, if you're wondering, £10 from B&M. Um, pretty good. Hello. Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, lights from being on. Um, they just make a really nice ambient glow. So that's um, that's the cage tour done. Um, 
just thought I'd do this quick video for you all and um, just to show you what this cage looks like currently. Um, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get, get, uh, get on top of them. Um, and then I also got some actual stuff down here like pig bedding and fur bedding which I did pop a little bit in because um, it's not as it's not as used with it so far but the stuff smells amazing. Um, it's the Simple Solution Cage and Hutch Cleaner from Amazon as well. And I do have a spare, <coughs> sorry, I do have a spare corner platform there. So I'm going to head off now, that's the video done and edit this for you all. And um, yeah, I shall see you all next week for a very interesting video as I go to watch the new Fast and Furious film. And a B&M as well, which should be a, a good video. Um, I'll try and vlog a little bit of that for you as well. So, um, other than that, take care, and I shall see you all in the next video. Make sure you leave a like and pop a comment down below. Take care, folks, and see you all next week.